My name is Susan Furno. I am an artist from Newfoundland and Labrador, and uh, my my studio is in Conception Harbour, which is in Conception Bay in the Avalon Peninsula of Newfoundland. My practice has been traditionally rooted in natural dye and hand embroidery. Uh, during COVID, I started to think about my work and really made a shift to sort of where I wanted to go for a long time. And COVID gave me that space to do that. So uh, I'm doing a lot less dyeing and I'm actually working with the natural materials themselves and using those in non-traditional ways to do embroideries, uh, fish skins, making a thread and cord from bog rush, using little pieces of bone as beads, things like that. When I read the call to come and do the artist residency here at Artlink, it uh, really appealed to me because it was very much about place and season. So for my work, it, it's very much about place because I use the plants and the um, little pieces that I find and forage around me. Um, I don't usually buy things. I usually just find things locally and try to make them work. It takes a little bit of experimentation, um, but I find that it, uh, it really speaks to the place. Simple things like um, difference in the leaf size, you know, just, just small things. And the other thing was the thing about working in the seasons. Um, we work very traditionally uh, with the seasons in Newfoundland and Labrador. Before it would be the fishery or farming, everything had a season, you know, cutting wood, all that. And now with the shift to tourism, uh, again, it's the same thing. People are working very seasonally. And also in my own work, I gather at certain times, I do some dyeing at certain times, and then I have that winter for stitching. So when I wrote my proposal to come, um, I really looked at thinking about stretching my kind of uh, three-dimensional work because I do have a you know a strong background in two-dimensional work um, and I also wanted to look at the different colors like the subtleties in colors um, using things like dandelion stems for embroidery thread and you know different kinds of colors uh, that you would see in different kinds of bark tanning uh, or what the, I, and I'm not knowing what the plants were going to be here, um, you know, what were the similarities of the plants and how were they different grown in this environment than they would have been grown in the environment at home. The idea for uh, my work here did change when I got here. Um, there was some similarities in plants for sure, but there was also a lot of differences. I mean, it's much warmer and much more lush and a much uh, softer environment uh, than in Newfoundland on the Avalon Peninsula. Even though it's, it is a peninsula and it's right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, uh, it, it's much uh, cooler there. And I think the freeze-thaw cycle might have a lot to do with the plants. Uh, plants that I would normally see were a lot bigger here. I couldn't find certain plants or plants that I thought would be a sort of in full bloom uh, were actually finished up. So I thought I would find uh, things, things that I thought I would see now or things that at home I would see in August. Um, I did do a lot of playing and experimentation and I was really kind of um, struck by the Laurentic and the Laurentic uh, the disaster that happened here and how that uh, 21 young Newfoundlanders lost their lives and, and most of them were never recovered. Uh, that for me, because I, I do uh, enjoy the historic notion and uh, of, of uh, exploring that in my artwork. And I also feel that, uh, you know, it, it shows uh, how little we, we don't know at home about what, is hap what happened in the, this history. I, I wasn't aware of it. And also how we are joined by those tragedies, you know, and how as, as people who live in little uh, places on the North Atlantic, we're kind of have these similar uh, concerns and feelings and, uh, you know, social and cultural similarities. I found that really, uh, really interesting, the social. And then when I was doing the artist talk and I was talking about my work and my past work years ago and how much of it did have a connection with Ireland that I had never really thought about before. It was more about the Newfoundland folk tales, but now I was seeing the, the, the root of them, you know? 
So last Saturday when I was here, uh, we did a workshop and I get to meet other artists and other members of ArtLink. And it was great because uh, you know, some lovely chats came out of it. It was a lot of fun because um, most of the folks hadn't had any experience with eco printing. And uh, it's such a, such a place-based process. You know, we made the rust uh, with things from the forge and then we went out and gathered leaves and everybody's work was so incredibly different and we had you know a young 10 year old with his mother and he was just you know the whole thing was, was just so lovely and that's where you really get the really nice chats and you learn to to uh, meet people and uh, I mean I had met Mandy but um, and I've met other artists here as well uh, Tim and Roz and uh, but then you, when we got to the, the workshops myself and Mandy got to actually chat about her work you know where she wants to go things that she wants to do and that's really exciting as well talking to other professionals you know getting that time to speak is you know to to the actual artists who are living here and what what it is they're doing and you know where they where they see themselves in another five years and I think everybody it was also nice to hear that how everybody had been affected by COVID and how you know they all felt that even though it was an awful thing that they had the time and the headspace to actually think about things and and you know move the practices in others directions so there was a lot of common um you know thought there it was great yes my time at artlink has been a lot of fun it was um i when i work at home i'm usually a doer i'm always doing something um you know making this picking at that you know and when you're in your own studio there are things that are calling to you you should be doing this you should be doing that or you're trying to make something for the next exhibition that came out you know um but here i was doing and i was making and i was looking and documenting but i really did a lot of thinking without any concern that this work has to be done by this date you know, it was just to sit and think and consider and take it all in. And, you know, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to, uh, even though the time here is done and the making is all packed up and ready for uh, to hand off, I'm really looking forward to going and doing some more work in the, in the museums and meeting some more uh, the people that I'm meeting with in Dublin who are starting the circular economy and just hearing those new ideas. And it's, yeah, it's great. It's been great. I mean, there's so many people here, I guess. It's such a larger population than Newfoundland. And, uh, you know, there's so many ideas and there's so many great uh, conversations going that I've, you know, been a part of. Um, in the past little while, uh, talking with Don McNeil about the Laurentic project and uh, his his connections with the North uh, Atlantic uh, groups, uh, uh, Deidre, uh, the woman who I met here, came in and chatted to me, and now she's got me involved with the Circular Economy group, and even just talking to uh, Liam the barber and getting him to bring me in some nice red oak to to cure my fish skins, you know, and. Uh, which was such a large part of, uh, you know, the work that I did when I was here and where it will go from now on. Thankfully, I've got a lot of oak at home. <laughs> Probably one of the only people. But uh, yeah, and it's been great, you know, just popping into little charity shops and talking to people. And yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's been great. <laughs>